What are you doing, Michael? Currently blocking out <clears throat> the uh, base areas that we're going to punch out with a drill as we create these uh, army transport trays for lock and load. Anybody who's been to a tournament knows that carrying models from one table to another table or one location to another location doesn't necessarily mean you want to put everything into your army transport case every single time. So these trays are a great idea, very useful, we've used them before and uh, everybody in the group wants one. So we're just uh, blocking out uh, the areas that we'll punch out for small, medium and large bases. Uh, we'll get them cut out, uh, stuck to a more firm backing, and should be a useful tool for lock and load. Sweet. out the rough area that we wanted. Uh, it varies from army to army depending on how much infantry, medium bases, large bases you might have. Uh, we went ahead and penciled it all out, used uh, some specialized drill bits in order to actually create the plugs and drill out each individual base. Now we're going through uh, and just sort of smoothing out each individual one. We'll mount this to a backing, a more permanent board. Like that? We've got them all stacked right there. Once all of that is uh, done and assembled, we'll uh, use wood glue or something similar in order to affix the two surfaces, keep them clamped for a bit uh, until they firm up. We should be in good shape there. And then we'll go ahead and get them uh, based. Uh, apply sand, gravel, we'll get some tufts and flocking on there, etc. And we should have a, a nice practical movement tray for the rest of the army, for the entire army, uh, as well as a, a bit of a scenic display board. Yeah, cool. This episode <laughs> brought to you by Newcastle. When you need a castle, it might as well be new. Wait, no. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like um, yeah we've got it got it pretty much worked out. Um, we've even got a slot for a, a battle engine, a Kador gun carriage. And hopefully we'll be able to get some drifts of snow. And, uh... Yeah. So far, so good. So, it's been an interesting day. we got a lot of progress done on our display boards. Uh, lots of time with power tools. Uh, we've been basing, sanding, and... Well, eventually flocking them. For now, we've been sanding them, so we'll be priming them in the next 24 hours or so. Progress is being made. As it is right now, I'm assembling a phoenix for my retribution of Syra. Hi, Ra. Ron likes having two phoenixes. Ooh. I've been proxying one for a while. I own another one. Uh, I figured it was time to get two, so lots of last minute painting and assembling as we get underway. What are we now? T minus five days? Five days until yeah. departure. Until departure. So. We're getting there. Okay. Uh, some of the other hobbying that we've got done is uh, Aaron. Hey. <laughs> PG well, Watchtower. I mean, uh, uh, Watchtower. The Wait. individual formerly known as PG Watchtower. Yeah, he's just a symbol now. Yeah. <laughs> Disavowed by the agency. Yeah. What are you uh, I, I got working on? Blacklisted. Um, I'm working on flesh tones. Mark graciously decided to teach me his flesh tone because I'm not very good with painting. It's great. Um, I'm, I'm working on Raven right now. I just did a wash um, on her face. Yeah, I can't see that at all. This is not Okay. Uh, apparently that you is should not... should have probably waited. I Anyways. probably should have waited. Um, so yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to lock and load. It's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. 